Welcome back. This is the last video, and in this video, we're going to solve the Amy problem that we started last time. So remember that we're trying to find all, or we're trying to count the number of snake-like integers that have four distinct digits and are between 1,000 and 9,999. And so we realize that the digit zero is kind of strange in this problem because we can't start with a zero, um, although we can still have a, a zero in the number. Uh, as in the example 6801. So what we decided to do was to split into two cases. In the first case, uh, all the digits would be from 1 to 9. And in the second case, we're allowed to have a 0, like 6801. So um, in the last part, we solved case 1. And what we did was we, we noticed that if all the digits are from 1 to 9, we can first think of how uh, ways to choose uh, those digits. So there are nine choose four ways to choose the four digits since all, dis all the digits are distinct. And once we've chosen them, there are five snake-like integers that we can construct. Uh, that's what we did last time. And I didn't calculate this out last time, but I've calculated it since then. And the answer is six 130. So now we're going to solve part 2 and with that we'll be able to finish the problem. So if one of the digits is 0, we know that the three other digits are not 0. And so first let's ask where can the 0 be? The 0 can't be in the first so the 0 can't be in the first digit because if it were um, then that number would not be between 1000 and 9999. So 0 can't be here. The 0 can't be here either because we know that we must increase from the first digit to the second digit and nothing is smaller than 0. And similarly, 0 can't be in the last digit because we would have increased from the third to the fourth digit. So we know that in case 2, the 0 must live right over here. Okay. So now we think of a similar bijection. So we think of ways to have one of the digits 0 and we compare that on the other side with ways to choose three digits from 1 to 9. So three digits from um, 1 to 9. So as an example, let's just take the one that we have right here. Let's say that the three digits we chose are 1, 6, and 8. So now, how many different snake-like integers can we build with 1, 6, 8? And we already know we need to have a 0. So as you can see, this is one example. Let's start with, um, if we started with 1, what could we do? We could go from 1 to 6, and then that would leave 0 and 8. That's valid. Or we could go from 1 to 8, leaving 0 and 6. What about if we started with a 6? If we started with a 6, we can't go to 1, but we can go to 8, and then that determines 0 and 1. And there's no way to start with 8 because going from 8, we can't get to something bigger. So what we notice here is that for every way to choose 3 digits from 1 to 9, we can make 3 snake-like integers. So now, to compute case 2, we do 9 choose 3, which is what we've counted on the right, and then we multiply that by 3. And I have this calculation done as well. It is 252. So finally, let's add case 1 to case 2. We add them together and we get our answer. 882. And that solves this problem. So now, um, for the rest of the time, we have these problems, which are additional practice with the concepts that we went over. So I'd like you to go over those, and when you're done, check your answers down here. If you have any questions, let me know, and I can help you all with it. And if you're finished with all that, uh, I'll be sending along uh, something from Math Counts that you guys can practice together. Have fun!